Adolfo Bioe Casares, Spanish pronunciation, Adolfo Beta Joy Casares, September 15, 1914 to March 8, 1999, was an Argentine fiction writer, journalist, and translator. He was a friend and frequent collaborator with his fellow countryman Jorge Luis Borges, and is the author of the fantastic fiction novel The Invention of Morel. Biography <inaudible> 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 Adolfo Bioe Casares was born on September 15, 1914 in Buenos Aires, the only child of Adolfo Bioe de Mec and Marta Ignacia Casares Lynch. He was born in Recoleta, a neighborhood of Buenos Aires traditionally inhabited by upper-class families, where he would reside the majority of his life. Due to his family's high social class, he was able to dedicate himself exclusively to literature and, at the same time, distinguish his work from the traditional literary medium of his time. He wrote his first story, "'Iris y Margarita' at the age of eleven. He began his secondary education in the Instituto Libre de Segunda Enseñanza at the Universidad de Buenos Aires. Later, he started but did not end up finishing degrees in law, philosophy, and literature. Fueled by disappointment with the university atmosphere, he moved to a family ranch where, when he didn't have visitors, he devoted himself almost entirely to his study of literature. By the time he reached his late twenties, he maintained proficiency in Spanish, English, French which he spoke from the age of four and German. Between 1929 and 1937, Bioe Casares published a number of books: Prologo, Seventeen Desperos contra lo Porvenir, Caos, La Nueva Tormenta, La Estatua Casera, Luis Grieve, Muerto, that he would later disdain, restricting additional publications and refusing to discuss them, labeling all his work previous to 1940 as horrible. In 1932 he met Jorge Luis Borges at Villa Ocampo, a house in San Isidro belonging to Victoria Ocampo. There, she often hosted different international figures and organized cultural celebrations, one of which brought Borges and Bioe Casares together. Bioe Casares recalled that on that particular occasion, the two writers stepped away from the rest of the guests, only to be reprimanded by Ocampo. This reproach provoked them to leave the gathering and return to the city together. The journey sealed a lifelong friendship and many influential literary collaborations. Under the pseudonyms H. Bustos de Mec and Benito Suarez Lynch, the two teamed up on a variety of projects from short stories Cease Problemas para Don Isidro Parodi, Dos Fantasias Memorables, Un Modelo para la Muerte, to screenplays Los Orilleros, Invasion, and Fantastic Fiction Ontologia de la Literatura Fantastica, Cuentos Breves y Extraordinarios. Between 1945 and 1955, they directed El Septimo Circulo, The Seventh Circle, a collection of translations of popular English detective fiction, a genre that Borges greatly admired. In 2006, Borges, a biographical volume of more than 1600 pages from Bioe Casares journals, revealed many additional details of the friendship shared by the two writers. Bioe Casares had already prepared and corrected the texts some time previously, but he never was able to publish them himself. 
In 1940, he published the short novel The Invention of Morel, which marked the beginning of his literary maturity. The novel's introduction was written by Borges, in which he comments on the absence of precursors to science fiction in Spanish literature, presenting Bioe Casares as the pioneer of a new genre. The novella was very well accepted and received the Primer Premio Municipal de Literatura first municipal prize of literature in 1941. During this same time, in collaboration with Borges and Silvina Ocampo, he published two anthologies, Ontologia de la Literatura Fantastica y Ontologia Poetica Argentina In 1940, Bioe Casares married Silvina Ocampo, Victoria's sister, who was a painter as well as a writer. In 1954, one of Bioe Casares' mistresses gave birth in the United States to his daughter, Marta, who was subsequently adopted by his wife Silvina. Marta was killed in an automobile accident just three weeks after Silvina Ocampo's death, leaving Adolfo with two children. The estate of Silvina Ocampo and Adolfo Bioe Casares was awarded by a Buenos Aires court to yet another love child of Adolfo Bioe Casares, Fabian Bioe. Fabian Bioe died, aged 40, in Paris, France on of February 2006. Bioe won several awards, including the Gran Premio de Honor of Sade, the Argentine Society of Writers, 1975; the French Legion of Honor, 1981; the Diamond Konex Award of Literature, 1994; the title of Illustrious Citizen of Buenos Aires, 1986; and the Miguel de Cervantes Prize, awarded to him in 1991 in Alcala de Henares. Adolfo Bioe Casares is buried in La Recoleta Cemetery, Buenos Aires. Works <laughs> 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 The best known novel by Bioe Casares is La Invención de Morel, The Invention of Morel. It is the story of a man who, evading justice, escapes to an island said to be infected with a mysterious fatal disease. Struggling to understand why everything seems to repeat, he realizes that all the people he sees there are actually recordings, made with a special machine, invented by Morel, which is able to record not only three-dimensional images, but also voices and scents, making it all indistinguishable from reality. The story mixes realism, fantasy, science fiction and terror. Borges wrote an introduction in which he called it a work of «reasoned imagination» and linked it to H. G. Wells' oeuvre. Both Borges and Octavio Paz described the novel as «perfect». The story is held to be the inspiration for Alan Resnay's Last Year at Marion Bad and an influence on the TV series Lost. Novels and novellas La Nueva Tormenta o la Vida de Juan Rutino, 167 pp. 1935, The New Storm or the Life of Juan Rutino, La Invención de Morel, 126 pp. 1940, translated into English as The Invention of Morel, 1964, ISBN 1-59017-057-1 El Perjurio de la Neve, 64 pp. 1944, The Snow's Perjury 
Plan de Evasion, 162 pp. 1945, translated into English as A Plan for Escape, 1975, ISBN 1 55597 107 5. El Sueño de los Aroes, 216 pp. 1954, translated into English as The Dream of Heroes, 1987, ISBN 0 7043 2634 5. Homenaje a Francisco Almeira, 37 pp. 1954. Homage to Francisco Almeira. Diario de la Guerra del Cerdo, 207 pp. 1969, translated into English as Diary of the War of the Pig, 1972, ISBN 0-07-073742-8. Dormir al Sol, 229 pp. 1973, translated into English as Asleep in the Sunday, 1978, ISBN 0-89255-030-9. La aventura de un fotógrafo en la plata, 223 pp. 1985, translated into English as The Adventures of a Photographer in La Plata, 1989, ISBN 0-7475-0798-8. Un campeón desperejo, 110 pp. 1993. An Uneven Champion", Short Story Collections 17 Desperos contra el Porvenir, 173 pp. 1933, 17 Shots Against the Future", CAOs, 283 pp. 1934, Chaos". Luis Grieve, Muerto, 157 pp. 1937. Luis Grieve, deceased. La Trema Celeste, 246 pp. 1948. The Celestial Plot. Las Vísperas de Fausto, 15 pp. 1949. Faust's Eve. Historia Prodigiosa, 151 pp. 1956. A Remarkable History. El Lado de la Sombra, 192 pp. 1962. The Shady Side. El Gran Serafin, 190 pp. 1967. The Great Seraf. El Aero de las Mujeres, 191 pp. 1978. The Hero of Women. Historias Desaforadas, 231 pp. 1986. Colossal Stories. Una muñeca rusa, 179 pp. 1991, translated into English as A Russian Doll and Other Stories, 1992, ISBN 0-8112-1211-4 Generally, these Spanish-language collections have not been systematically translated into English. English language collections include Selected Stories, 176 pp. 1994, ISBN 0-8112-1275-0 Essays La Otra Aventura, 153 pp. 1968, The Other Adventure Memoria sobre la Pampa y los Gauchos, 57 pp. 1970. Memoir on the Pampas and the Gauchos. 
miscellanies mixed collections of stories, poems, essays, reflections, aphorisms, etc. Prologo, 127 pp. 1929. Prologue. La Estatua Cacera, 51 pp. 1936. The Household Statue. Guirnalda con Amores, 200 pp. 1959. Garland with Loves. Dictionary of Argentinian Slang. Breve Diccionario del Argentino Exquisito, 161 pp. 1971. Brief Dictionary of Affected Argentinians. Letters. En viaje, 1967, 260 pp. 1996. Traveling in 1967. Letters to Silvina Ocampo, Diaries. Descanso de Caminantes, Diarios Intimos, 507 pp. 2001. Rest for Travelers and Intimate Diaries. A selection from his journals, works written in collaboration with Jorge Luis Borges. Cease Problemas para Don Isidro Parodi 1942, translated into English as Six Problems for Don Isidro Parodi, 1981, ISBN 0 525 48035 8. Dos Fantasias Memorables, 1946. Two Memorable Fantasies. Un modelo para la muerte 1946. A model for death. Cuentos breves y extraordinarios 1955. Short and amazing stories. Crónicas de Bustos de Mec 1967, translated into English as Chronicles of Bustos de Mec, 1976, ISBN 0-525-47548-6 Libro del Cielo y del Infierno, 1960. The Book of Heaven and Hell. Nuevos Cuentos de Bustos de Mec, 1977. New Stories by Bustos de Mec. Dos Fantasias Memorables and Un Modelo para la Muerte were originally published in private printings of only 300 copies. The first commercial printings were published in 1970. Works written in collaboration with Silvina Ocampo. Los que aman, odian, those who love, hate, 1946. Screenplays written in collaboration with Jorge Luis Borges. Los Orilleros, 1955, The Hoodlums. El Paraiso de los Crayons, 1955, The Paradise of the Believers. Invasion 1969 Invasion The Others 1974 